Today, I am going to be guiding you through a very slow and grounded practice. So we're going to stay very much to the ground. We're going to spend a little bit longer in our shapes, just so that we can really have a good release and stretch of the body and also of the mind. So without further ado, go ahead, grab your mat and maybe some bolsters or a small cushion if you have them to hand, and I will see you there. Okay, so we're going to go ahead and get started at the back of the mat in child's pose, so knees wide, toes touching. And just take a really nice slow long walk towards the top of the mat with the hands pressed down through the palms just melt the torso and the heart down towards the mat pressing into your forehead maybe have a little wiggle through the shoulders just soften through the elbows and allow the tensions of your body just to melt away out of the fingertips out of the face maybe a gentle massage of the forehead as you move it slowly left to right we'll just take a few moments here just really softening down into the body and just dialing into our awareness as we create the perfect space and environment for our practice so let's take Three nice deep breaths into the back of the body with an inhale. As you feel your ribs separate. And exhale as you feel them gently close in. And again, inhaling. And exhaling. And one more time, inhaling and exhaling and you're ready just lift your gaze towards the top of the mat press into the palms straighten out the arms we're going to take a really slow walk over to the left placing your right palm over the left square the shoulders and allow the head to hang in between the space in the arms as you melt the heart down and pressing back through your right sits bone let's take a few breaths into the side the right side body into that right rib cage, nice full body breaths. I'm taking one more breath wherever you may be. I'm going to take a nice slow walk all the way over to the other side. So over to the right, pressing into the right palm, left over right, square the shoulders. Allow the head to hang in between the space and the arms. Just melt the heart, the chest down. Press back through that left sits bone and breathe into the left side of the body. And we'll take three more full breaths. Reaching out through those fingertips. Well done, and one more deep breath. And you're ready. We'll bring everything back to center. Pressing into the palms, gently rounding forward into tabletop. Bring the knees underneath the hips and hands underneath the shoulders for a nice tabletop. We're going to walk the hands slightly ahead of the shoulders and then gently press the bottom back with the heel to the heels and then melt down onto your forearms and then from this space keeping the chest low take an inhale as you shift the weight in the crown forward towards the top of the mat as you find your edge press through the palms and exhale round into the back of the shoulders and press your bottom back to the heel. So a little bit more of a creative take on cat and cow. Let's do that again. Inhale forward. Exhale rounding into the back. And bottom back to the heels. Three more times. 
And this feels really nice. So just take your time. There is no rush. Last one, wherever you may be. Really nice. Meeting with the bottom, pressing back to the heels. On the next inhale, round forward into tabletop. Slide the hands back underneath the shoulders. Keeping the hips stacked over the knees, let's walk the fingers towards the top of the mat. And start to press the ribs back ever so. Creating and just leaving a little bit of space between the heart and the mat. Press into your left palm and as we inhale, we'll reach the right fingertips to the sky, opening and gently twisting. And then exhale, threading the needle. Right arm travels underneath left armpit. And you just gently rest the right side of the face into the mat as you stretch and reach out through the fingertips. Keep the tailbone lifted, pressing into the tops of the feet. And just taking a moment just to be still with your breath. And just feeling this gentle stretch through the spine, into the arms, shoulder. And take one more deep breath. And then when you're ready, press back through your left palm as you lift and reach your right arm back ahead. So root down through the right palm now. We'll take that stretch to the other side. Inhale, reach your left fingertips to the sky. And exhale, thread that needle. The left arm underneath the right armpit. And just reach and stretch out through those right fingertips. Keep the hips stacked over the knees. And just allow the heart to sink. And just take a few moments here. Maybe close down your eyes if that feels good. Do whatever feels good for you. And just allowing the spine to lengthen. Take three more breaths. Well done. One more breath wherever you are. And then we'll press down through this right palm. Gently reach out through the left fingertips, placing them towards the top of the mat. And on your next exhale, we'll find the fullest expression of puppy pose. So allowing the ribs to melt back towards the thighs, melting heart to mat, pressing down through the forehead, softening through the elbows maybe. And if you feel like your forehead doesn't quite touch, then you can always take a block just to place your head onto if you have one handy or maybe a cushion. And just... This is trusting your body to support and hold you in the shape. So just really allow the heart to sink down. And if you feel really open, maybe rest the chin onto the mat and take the gaze forward. Let's take two more breaths. One more breath. We're rooting down through the forearms and the palms. Looking towards the top of the mat as we shift the weight all the way forward. We'll land on our hips, the legs are long, and then walk those elbows ahead of the shoulders for Sphinx Pose. And as we arrive in Sphinx, just allow the feet to drift out to the edges of the mat. Have a little wiggle through the hips. Relax the lower back and the glutes. Lengthen through the torso to lift the heart. See where your shoulders are in space. And then just allow them just to soften, soften into your shoulders. Maybe close your eyes and just take a few moments here just to be with your breath. Enjoying this supportive pose for your spine, your posture, strengthening and lengthening the spine. Any time this becomes too much, just remember you can always melt the chest back down. Maybe find a baby cobra if that feels better. But if you're feeling good, let's just hang out here just for two more breaths. And one more breath. And then we'll press down through the palms and just gently straighten out through the arms for seal pose. Now, 
You don't have to lift seal pose if that doesn't feel good. If you'd like a little bit more, a little bit more space, you can lift into seal. Just make sure that the glutes are a little bit firmer now so your lower back is supported. And again, just notice where the shoulders are in space. So just allow them to soften down away from the ears. Keep the heart lifted, the gaze ahead. Maybe hang the chin to the chest just for a brief moment, just to stretch out the back of the neck. And then looking ahead again. And then on your next exhale, everybody, wherever you are in space, just releasing down the chest and the torso. Okay. So sliding the palms down towards the chest, we're going to bring the toes and the heels to touch and just reach out through your right arm and press your right palm into the ground. Press the right side of the face into the mat and then we're going to roll over onto the right side of the body and once you arrive there, you'll probably feel a little pulling sensation on the inside of your right shoulder. And then we're going to bend this left knee and place that left foot just back in space behind the right leg. So the front of the left hip opens, this knee is externally rotated. And let's just take a few moments here, just releasing the front of the right shoulder and opening through the front of the left hip. And this practice is perfect for those days where perhaps you feel a little bit slower, a little bit heavier in the body, you just feel like you need a good stretch out. Maybe your energy's a little lower. Practices like this are so, so good for those days when perhaps our energy isn't so, so enthusiastic. Take one more breath. And then when you're ready, we're going to roll back over onto the front. Bring this right hand underneath the shoulder and extend the left arm out to the side. Resting the left side of the face to the mat. And then when you're ready, you're just going to roll over onto the left side of the body. And again, just taking a moment to rest here before bending the right knee and taking that right foot just back in space behind that left leg. And just take a few moments here being in this shape. Sometimes it can feel a bit awkward. So just find what feels good for you. Beautiful. Let's take two more breaths. And one more breath. Before gently releasing that Right leg, rolling back onto the front of the chest. Take the palms and slide them to the side of the chest, gently walking the shoulder blades towards one another. Pressing down through the forehead, and when you're ready, just press through the palms, lifting up. Roll over the knees, around your bottom back to the heels for a quick child's pose, just rebounding off the stretch, the sensation. And we'll just spend a minute here. just returning to the breath. And keeping the palms reaching out ahead on your next inhale, rounding through, back into tabletop. I'm going to take this left leg back in space, pressing into the ball of the left foot. And just take a little rock back and forth. As we stretch the back side of the left leg. Finding stillness rooting down through the palms. We're going to lift this right knee into the chest, so engage the core, and then shift that knee all the way forward to land on the inside of the right thumb. Allow your left leg to fall nice and long behind you for pigeon pose. So to set yourself up for pigeon, making sure the shoulders and the hips are square. If you feel like you're leaning over to your right, maybe take that support, a cushion or a block underneath your right bottom cheek. Other than that, when you're ready, just press down into the palms. Take an inhale, look ahead. And then maybe walking down onto the forearms. And again, just allowing the head to hang down, allowing the tension to round out of your shoulder. And just take a few moments just to soften 
And pigeon can be one of those shapes that feels quite intense. So really take this opportunity now to listen into your body. And we'll take a slow scan from the top of the head as we soften the space in between the brow, the cheeks, release the jaw and unclench your teeth. Allow the tension to round out of your shoulders. Breathing nice deep breaths into the space of your back. And softening down into the hips, the glutes and thigh. And just taking a moment here now, completely at ease in the shape. If at any point you feel any tingling or numbness, just simply press up onto the palms and take an ease off of the stretch a little. But for now, we're here for three more breaths. One more deep breath. Okay, when you're ready, and just press back under the palms underneath the shoulders, tuck underneath your left toes, lift the left knee, and we're just going to step that right foot back, finding a downward facing dog. And as we find downward facing dog, making sure the feet are hip distance apart, maybe a generous bend in the knees if the hum hamstrings are feeling tight, as the ribs press back to the thighs and the gaze drops between the knees, maybe taking a generous pedal now through the heels, just getting rid of any tension, any stickiness in the back, the legs, the lower back space maybe. And when you're ready, finding stillness. On your next inhale, rocking forward, releasing the knees back down to the mat, tabletop. This time we're gonna send the right leg back in space. So pressing through the right ball of the foot and then just gently rocking back and forth take your time there is no rush and finding stillness as you root down through the palms engage core as you lift the left knee up into the belly button and then shifting the weight forward as you bring that right, uh, left knee and just drop it on the inside of the left wrist or thumb Make sure that this right leg is nice and long behind you. Hips are square, shoulders are square. Take an inhale, look ahead. And then when you're ready, maybe melting down onto the forearms, the palms, and allowing the head just to hang down in space. And again, we're just going to take a moment here as we take that full body scan from the top of the head all the way to the tips of the toes, softening out through the face, shoulders, Nice deep breaths into the back. Relaxing your lower back, your hips, your glutes and the thighs. And allowing yourself to completely surrender. And again, just a little reminder to you that if at any point you feel any tingling or numbness, just bring yourself away from the shape. Let's take three more breaths. One more breath wherever you may be and we're just gently going to press up onto the palms again underneath the shoulders tuck under the right toes lift the right knee from the mat and then lift that tail the hips to the sky finding downward facing dog press the ribs back to the thighs maybe a generous bend in the knees see how that feels maybe a little yes no with the head and then when you're ready, we're going to take the feet hip distance apart, turning the heels in and the toes out, and then walk the hands all the way back to you. And as you walk the hands back, we're going to bend down through the knees and lower the tail towards the mat, finding our Malasana Yogi squat at the back of the mat, bringing the palms to the heart space, keeping the heart lifted gaze ahead. Again, you can support yourself with a block underneath the seat, maybe press down into the palms if it's too much for you to be with the palms at heart centre. So just take a few minutes, a few moments, should I say, 
just to find yourself and see what, where your body feels best supported. And when you arrive, just lifting lightly through the crown, maybe closing the eyes. And we'll just take a few moments here, breathing deeply, deep breathing deeply into the body and releasing all the air as you exhale. Let's do two more breaths, just like that, inhaling and exhaling. One more deep breath and finding that sense of release through that exhale. And then when you're ready, you can either allow the knees just to collapse inwards. You'll see the tail just lowers down to the mat. And then we're going to bring the soles of the feet to touch. Maybe scoot your bums a little closer towards the middle of the mat. Soles of feet to touch. And then we're shifting the heels a little further away. So we've got quite a bit of space in between the legs. So once you find yourself here, find that seat, stack the hips, the heart, the head, nice tall spines. And then with your palms, just gently guide them down from the knees, the front of the shins, all the way to the front of the feet, and eventually reaching the toes where they just lightly cup the toes. Inhale, lift through the heart, lengthen through the torso. And as you exhale, gently melting forward, softening elbows, and then allowing the head to hang like a heavy weight as we find our diamond shape. And just relax now, soften into the glutes, soften into the thighs, the inner thighs, the outer thighs, the shoulders, breathing into the back space fully. Release the tension from your face. And just really allowing yourself this opportunity to be in stillness, enjoying the slowness of the practice, enjoying that space you find in the mind of the body and just allowing yourself a moment of presence without any busying, without wanting to be anywhere else, without that chaotic mind, thoughts racing, just you, your body, your breath, this time carved out of your day, dedicated only to you. How nice that feels. And taking two more breaths. And then when you're ready, just gently press the palms into the mat, lift yourself away. And take the hands on the outside of the knees, draw the knees to close, and just send the legs out in front of you. With the ankles flexed and toes pointing towards the body, just press the palms down now to the sides of the hips for Dandasana. Allow the shoulders to slide down the back, gaze ahead, and then activating the legs. See if you can float the heels slightly away from the ground. And this could feel quite intense, but we'll just spend a few moments here with the breath, channeling that breath to help journey, navigate you through those sensations, taking one more deep breath. And on your next exhale, relaxing, well done. So to finish today's practice, we're just going to take a few moments in an easy seat, with the palms gently pressed to thighs and knees, and the spine nice and long, heart lifted, out of the crown, the shoulders soft, knees low and light, eyes closed down. Take a moment just to drop into your body's awareness, your heart center, locating your breath to the lowest part of your belly on that inhale. As you draw that inhale up from the belly into the ribs and the chest, 
taking a gentle pause, soft pause at the top of that inhale and then exhaling, releasing the air out of the body. And we'll do that a few times, inhaling, softening, holding and exhaling. Let's do that three more times, inhaling. Softening, holding, and exhaling. Twice more. And again. Just allow your lateral breath to resume and as you feel yourself with that sense of peace, calm and connectedness, feeling really stable and grounded in your energy, in your body, maybe a light little smile arrives on your face. As you sit here enjoying these final moments of your practice, and to close, we'll gently draw the palms to the chest space with the head, with the chin slightly dropping to the chest. This moment of reflection and contemplation and honouring of our practice and this time spent with you. Filling your heart with gratitude as I extend mine onto yours for trusting me to be your guide. Really is an honour, guys. So thank you for taking the time out of your day to join me. I hope to see you here on your mat again really soon. Have a beautiful rest of your day. Namaste.